Hello everyone, welcome to exam coach. Today I'm going to discuss some MCQs on law of contract and this is the part 2 of MCQ series on law of contract. So let's get started. Our first question is which of the following cases laid down the legal position for acceptance by conduct? So the correct option is that is option B. Carly versus Carabolic Smoke Pole Company. This case laid down that if an offer is such that its acceptance can be met by conduct of the opposite parties, then such a performance by the party would constitute valid acceptance. Our next question is, which of the following creates an automatic revocation of the proposal? Option A is the correct option, that is debt or insanity. A proposal is automatically revoked when the knowledge of debt or insanity of the parties comes to the knowledge of the offerer. Third question is, acceptance by electronic communication is, option C is the correct option, that is accepted by electronic communication is effective. Okay, so electronic communication or through the email, internet or email fax, acceptance or uh, offer acceptance or hebila ki hoi effective for e ketotami kobo paru e contracts pila korkota e contracts or kota kobo paru. Okay, so e contracts pila korji uh, jibla kamar normal contract or jibla uh, prerequisite diase Indian contract actor under it. He ekebila ko e contracts or ketot apply hoi. Okay, so the only essential requirement to validate an e contracts is compliance with the necessary prerequisite provided under the Indian contract. Hebu is the offer unconditional acceptance, lawful purpose, consideration, capacity of the parties and free consent. All these are prerequisite are also applicable in case of e-contracts. Okay. Aro Information Technology Act 2000 or Kismans Black provisions as a provision bilakyo e-contract or legal recognition. This is especially I mean, IT Act IT Act 2000 or Section 10 Ayakota. Okay. Also, the courts in India give due regard to electronic contracts under the provision of Indian Evidence Act 1872. Indian, Indian Evidence Sector 65A or 65B does it. So, acceptance by electronic communication is effective. Fourth question is, absence of meeting of minds would arise if there is an error on the part of the parties regarding. So, correct option is D, any of the offer, zikuneta hapa pare, transaction of ketot hapa pare, nessar and identity of party, subject matter of the agreement, zikunu ketote hapa pare. Fifth question is, which of the following cases laid down the position on enforceability of minors? Contract. C is the correct option. Mohori Bibi versus Tharmadas Khosh. The Privy Council laid down the position on enforceability of minus contract in Mohori Bibi versus Tharmadas Khosh in, in 1903. Next question is An alien enemy cannot enter into a contract with an Indian subject during the subsistence of war because option a is the correct option because SARS a contract is against public policy okay an alien enemy is denied from entering into a contract with an indian national during war since SARS a contract is against public policy next question is if the parties to a contract agree to substitute a new contract for it or to rescind or alter it, the original contract need not be performed. The above passes relate to the upper ullekore passes to dollar punto option of kheta relate kore. So the correct option is that is option B. It relates to the effect of novation, rescission and alteration contract. Novation to kitiya applies jitiya a new contract is substituted for the old one. Recession or alteration also have the effect that the original contract need not performed. Next question is X. A trader 
lives good at a wise house by mistake. If Y uses the goods, then which one of the following is correct when X demands the price of goods and Y refuses to pay? So the correct option is that is B. Y is bound to pay as X did not intend to supply goods graciously and Y enjoyed the benefit of access act. So X traders on a top by mistake to goods kini Y got eight hoi gusile aru Y he kini use koile. Yaar dara ittyo Y kito right dia na isi Y e X or bostu kini use koi bapari bo. Because law does not permit a person to enrich unjustly by exploitation of another. X left the goods by mistake, isn't it? It does not give any right to use them to Y. If Y uses it, he has to pay for it. So this is provided under section 72. Next question is, the basis of doctrine of frustration is that the Tolak Ullek Kara Kuntu statement doctrine of frustration or basis. So answer is the correct answer is the option. A. Performance is excused where a fundamental assumption underlying the contract has become impossible. If the main object of the contract is lost, the contract is said to be frustrated and it becomes discharged. No party needs to perform his obligation. Our last question is an agreement made to sell a cargo of corn which was not in existence at the time of contract is so hena jodi jitu bostule agreement kara hoise object to he bostu to he homot exist kara na sil at the time of the contract to kene ko agreement bur ki hobo so that agreement will be a void agreement an agreement uh, in an agreement the subject matter which does not exist at the time of agreement is void they are void of uncertainty void of uncertainty okay so this is for today thank you